almost missed my match. I was too busy doing the dishes, but we've won the die roll. We're here in match three. We're not going to play first because that's the thing to do. And of course, it's just hilarious at this point, right? Like, it's just hilarious how frequently I seem to be getting one land opening hands. Well, we're obviously going to mull that when uh, Henrik99 shows up. And hey, there he is right away. We are going to mull. Um, this is super slow. We're on the draw. We've got a scry. We've got a four drop. Uh, we've got a tempo-ish play. We've got a thing. I'll keep. Bone splinters? You know what? That's actually going to be okay with the scion that we make. Assuming I get a fourth land, so we can just kind of hope. A forest. What do you have? Go with that forest. An island. Blue green. Hey, there's the fourth land. There's the fourth land. The plan's coming together ish a little tiny bit. Our opponent's not playing anything. That's a. Uh, that's the elusive third part of the plan. Our opponent missed a land drop and still didn't play anything. That's that's the non-existent fourth part of the plan. <laughs> okay, we're uh we're in decent shape here actually. Snapping Narlid, and a missed land drop again. That's some bad news for him. That's some bad news. I think we're going to get in for two and then just kind of hold up Spell Shrivel here. Although we could just make Deathless Behemoth. Yeah, let's just make Deathless Behemoth. If he misses another land drop, he's really behind the eight ball. Oh, it looks like he might have. Passes the turn and discards. That hurts. <laughs> I'm okay with that going away. Alright, let's get in for eight. I've got six mana available. Yeah, we'll just spell shovel whatever he plays. We'll be mean. Oh... Oh, I think he missed another. Yeah, yeah, that was bad for him. So what did he keep? He must have kept a three lander with absolutely nothing he could play because he drew that Gnarlid on turn four. Huh, it's the danger of keeping hands that don't do anything. Um, but yeah, we're going to just go back in and see how we go. Henrik is going to play first. We've got uh, an okay starting hand. He's mulled to six this time. Uh, we're going to keep our seven here. We've got a ruination guide, a grave birthing. We've got some things. Is he going to go to five? He's going to keep the six. He's going to try them, and he puts the card on top. Good information to have. Top deck of land. I would like to see no more of those, please. No two drop. Uh, there's another land. So the question is, do we Grave Birthing or do we Ruination Guide? Well, there's yet another land. Um, hmm. All Ruination Guide. Spell Shovel? No Spell Shovel. Okay, our opponent has no four drops either. What is the deal here? Gideon's Reproach? Nope. Exile that Lifespring Druid. Five lands. What do you got for me? Giant Mantis. Uh, should I Grave Birthing for only two-thirds of the value? Yeah, I really need a card draw. Oh, come on. A little bit ridiculous. 
pass the turn. So we've got 10 of our lands available already. So eight of the 27 cards in my deck are not are our lands. What's coming down? Two mana? Snapping oop, three mana? Four mana? Five mana? Five mana. I don't like that. Ah, oh, clutch. Sure, it's fine by me. Spell shrivel. I can ruination guide and keep up spell shrivel. Look at that. Still confused as to what his deck is. Green, white, blue. It's clearly got Awaken involved in it. No attacks. And still nothing being played. WTF. Ooh. Let's get rid of that land. I like the feel of that. I like the feel of that. Pass the turn. Wait, seriously, still nothing? What are you? <laughs> what are you? So CMC4? Creature CMC4 or less, okay. Okay, is your hand literally nothing but lands? Because mine's lands and counters. Hell, let's see if we can get in for two. Oh, he called the bluff. Are you kidding me? I want to transgress the mind just so I can see what on earth he has. Oh, the mantis is coming in. Oh, he thought better of that for some reason. <laughs> Play something, please. More lands. There are six lands left in my deck. Six. Also, thankfully, three flyers. Okay, play something. Maybe he's just like desperately afraid of counter magic. <sighs> Five. Five of the 21 cards are lands. Okay, play something. Are you sitting on counter magic? Are you going to counter Malakir familiar? Nope. I guess actually none of my flyers get through the Mantis. That's a little bit of a pain. I need uh, Bone Splinters or Demon's Grasp or something. There we go. Play something. Feldar Cub, no. You don't get to have creatures. Play something else. Don't you dare be a land. Thank you. Yeah, all demons grasp that. Let's turn this game off. I'm going to get hit with a Royals Retribution so hard. But at least I can counter it. Eight. That's what you get for not playing things. Gideon's Reproach. Yeah, you've got four mana left. Oh, you're going to kill that. Be my guest. 
Cast something else. No? Alright, take seven. Ingest Green Warden of Marasa. That was a good ingest. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Spend all that mana. <laughs> Gladly. All right, our opponent rage quits. Three, four, five, six, seven. If he had another turn, Sky Spawner would have been the end of them, though. Wow, that was a weird match. I, I don't know what our opponent was doing. I think maybe they were just truly, truly terrified of counter magic um, instead of baiting it out, which they probably could have done. But yeah, we went 2-1, and one, so that's not too bad. Uh, and even our first match was super, super, super close. If it wasn't for that Royals Retribution, if I had just been maybe a little bit less greedy, it would have been super fine. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I love Sealed. I know it gets a bad rap sometimes. People say, oh, it's a pure luck, but it's you know, magic is luck. You still have to be a good deck builder. You still have to be a good magic player to do well at Sealed. Uh, if you haven't given Sealed a try, a try lately, definitely go for it. Uh, uh, I definitely love Sealed, and you'll always see at least two or three Sealed events past pre-release on Spiky Saturday for each set. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Leak. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. And you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash I had to pause there. I felt like I said it backwards, but I've only done that once that I remember anyways. Um, you've already found me here on YouTube. You've got the comment section down below. As always, make use of that. Uh, I love interacting with you guys. I love seeing you interact with each other. Please keep it civil. If you like my videos, you should click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe. That'll keep you up to date on all the latest Crack It Back Tuesdays, Wacky Wednesdays, Top 10 Thursdays, which I know have been missing for a couple of weeks. They will be back regularly starting next week. And Spiky Saturdays and all the other videos that pop up here and or there. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.